If you can tell by this picture that I show you now, you know that my Lounge World is going to be on one Brian Danielson, the American Dragon. But in WWE, he's called Daniel Bryan. So without further ado, hello YouTube! This is Loud Styles and this is Loudon's World. <laughs> Today on Loudon's World, I am talking about Daniel Effin Bryan. Most like him, others don't like him. Now, here's something. The most that do like him are diehard independent wrestling fans that are also WWE fans that believe that Daniel Bryan should deserve to be in WWE. Because everyone knows that that has been Daniel's dream since he was a little kid to wrestle in WWE. Why do you think he busted his ass for ten years? Why do you think he busted his busted his ass for ten years for? Yes, I have a stuttering problem. It is a curse. Just to be in WWE. Now, a lot of other people don't like the idea of Daniel Bryan being in WWE, and most people that don't like him being in WWE are marks for WWE. <laughs> They're like the John Cena loving, screw everybody in the indie league type of fans that believe Daniel Bryan doesn't deserve to be in there. Daniel Bryan's overrated, blah, 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 blah. Kind of funny when you think about how everybody says how Daniel Bryan isn't nothing. Daniel Bryan is crap. Daniel Bryan's overrated. And it's like, well, you know, you know, John Cena is crap. John Cena is overrated. John Cena is like the last son of Krypton. <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Anyway, I I kind of, I don't, sometimes I get why people don't like Daniel Bryan, and other times I just, like, ask myself, why? Like, okay, I get the fact that most people don't like Daniel Bryan because they believe he just doesn't fit that mold WWE should have. But then when I think about it, it's like, didn't Chris Benoit and Dean Malenko, two, two of the purest technical wrestlers, like had little to no mic skills, made it big in WWE? Wasn't Chris Benoit a world heavyweight champion and he rarely had any mic skills on him? Didn't Dean Malenko win titles and, you know, had a good success in WWE and he rarely had any good mic skills? Daniel Bryan does have good mic skills. It's just that you really, they really don't want to, they really don't focus on those parts. Like, he has the charisma. He has the it factor. He has the, like, wrestling-wise, there's no one that can touch him. You know, he's up there with guys like Jericho when it comes to pure technicians. Like, Miz couldn't even touch him. Like, most people can't even touch him. Charisma, mic skill-wise, they're actually pretty good. I mean, they're not the best, but they're good. He has great mic skills, and he can cut a good promo. I mean, if you think he can't cut a good promo, look at his past indie stuff, and then look at his last couple of days on NXT like look at when he had to leave and he called himself Brian Danielson and then when he came back and he slapped Michael Cole in the face which everybody freaking loved him for <laughs> you know we saw Angry Dragon come out that was like awesome other reasons why people don't like him is just it's like you can smell the markness off of somebody on a comment about him. Daniel Bryan freaking sucks. And he should go back to the indies because he can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with John Cena. Really? You know, Cena likes to try himself a lot. And I know Cena can, you know, stand, stand there with Chris Jericho technical-wise, but I'm sorry. 
I don't think Cena could actually handle Daniel Bryan. And I know a lot of people are like, well, Daniel Bryan is too little. Daniel Bryan is 193, and he's faced guys 200 some pounds before. I don't know if you noticed this, but um, when he faced Batista, oh, he actually took Batista to his limit. Like, literally, Batista was having a hard-ass time trying to take Daniel Bryan down because Daniel was, like, all over him. And it's a matter of wrestlers for people, like, who they like. Because, you know, there's not, like, a lot of indie guys that don't like Daniel Bryan either. Like, there's a lot of indie guys that don't like Danielson. They don't see such a big deal about him. They think he's overrated, just like some of the WWE people there. But the, but the thing is, they respect him. Because he is finally living his dream and being in WWE. Everybody else is just like, oh, he shouldn't even be in WWE because he's a guy from the indies. And, you know, I'm kissing Michael Coles. And I'm kissing Michael Coles' pale, bare-naked ass and say that, you know, he's overrated, he's a dork, he looks like a, he looks like a dweeb and all this other BS that's, like, really stupid. And it's like... You just crap on a guy without really knowing what he can do. And then, you know, here's the funny part. I got into an argument with a person who didn't like Daniel Bryan. And he was like, he was giving me his reasons. He was like, well, he sucked on NXT. I was like, you do realize this shit is scripted, right? You do realize that they script and book matches. It's, it's, you know, it's not like a matter of chance that all this happened. And even guys who weren't even Daniel Bryan fans would agree with me that him losing 10 straight was total BS and retarded. Because that just to everybody looked like they were just downplaying this guy for all he's worth. And that's like one of the major things that go on in WWE all, all the time. When an indie person, when a guy from the indies mainly ROH, when someone from ROH or any other independent company comes to WWE one or two things happen. If they don't have that look, then they'll get they'll get the boot. But if they have that look, but they get talked about so much and say that they're better, and there you have guys that say that they're ten times better than half of the roster in WWE and any of that other stuff, they'll get trashed on national television. They'll get squashed. Daniel got squashed. I mean, yeah, he put on some great matches. And it's all about how you put on the best match possible. And the fact that he had to lose 10 straight was totally BS. Because that's just uncalled for on any standard. Whether it's a WWE whether it's a WWE made wrestler or somebody from the indies, that's still kind of a BS way to do somebody. Make them lose 10 straight matches. But they they had they broke him down so they can build him back up. That's all it was. And honestly, it could have been more put to that. If not the fact that he got released for God knows what what reason. Oh yeah, he got released because he choked Justin Roberts out with his tie. Yeah, and the next is the next day decided to do vehicular manslaughter on Bret Hart. And, yeah, they didn't get fired. See, that's that's retarded. But he's back. Everybody wanted him back. And and then another thing, he was like, say, we WWE fans, we don't really care much about Daniel Bryan. I was like, what? And, and, and I was like, okay, then how come at the end of Fatal 4-Way, four everybody was chanting, we want Bryan? If he is so hated, if he is so not liked in WWE, how come you had 20 million freaking people saying, we want Dan we want Brian? It's obviously shown that WWE is growing to Daniel Bryan. And then at Night of Champions, Daniel Bryan beats Miz for the United States title. And everybody doesn't like that. I everybody doesn't like the fact that Miz lost the United States title. 
Everybody hates the idea of Daniel Bryan being United States champion. Everybody's not like, eh. They feel so iffy about the fact that Daniel Bryan's the United States champion because it's like, oh, he got the title too early. It could be a month or about two, about five or so weeks. And, oh, and if anybody doesn't remember, when Carlito first debuted, Carlito's debut match was a United States Championship match, and he won. So, I don't get why it's such a big freaking deal that he got the United States Championship. And honestly, people who kind of say that he got it too early or the the feud between him and the Miz didn't didn't like last long enough for a title shot like that hasn't really been paying attention to it. I'm sorry. If you say that the feud between Miz and Daniel Bryan was too short for a title match, you have not been paying attention long enough to know that the feud has lasted that long. It's lasted since the first season of NXT. First season of NXT, it's lasted. It could have lasted longer, but Daniel got released from mysterious reasons. So it has lasted longer than you think, and it was about time for a U.S. title shot. And honestly... Everybody knew that Daniel was going to win the title because because of the fact Miz was money in the bank. Daniel's the champ. Because, you know, Miz is about to get catapulted to main event status. So, for anybody that says Miz should get the United States title back, uh, yeah, I highly doubt he will. They are pushing him for a WWE Championship title, title run. They're pushing him for it. They're pushing him to be in the main event. So, you know, the whole United States Championship thing for Miz is done. It's done. Yes, he's still feuding with Daniel Bryan, and he they may have and he may have a match with Daniel at Hell in the Cell with John Morrison, but don't expect Miz to win the belt. And I'm not saying because Miz is a bad wrestler or anything like that. No, no, no. I'm not saying because he's a bad wrestler. I'm saying it's because he's getting pushed to main event status, and... They really want Daniel to have a title. They think Daniel could be a great U.S. champion. So they're going to push Daniel to be a great U.S. champion. Because the talent, because of the, because the writers in the, in the, you know, the story developers in the back believe that Daniel could be a future world champion. And I know that can come as a shock to some people who don't freaking like Daniel Bryan. And, and go like, how can someone like Daniel Bryan be world champion? Well, you know what? WWE has a way of taking a pile of crap and molding him into something that the fans could look at. You want a prime example? Dave Batista. <laughs> they can turn a pile of crap and make it look good. So they can take somebody that's already great, that's already got a cult like following, that that already has, you know, all of the accolades and they can make him greater. Just depends on, you know, if they really want to put that much time into him. And I honestly think they will. Because these are the same guys that when Daniel got released were pissed off that Daniel left because it was like, we could have had a future world champion. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's my time. I'm Loud Styles. I'm over. I'm out. And I am gone. Also, fear the cube!